guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little different you guys are gonna be seeing me not looking like this in like two seconds so hold on don't fast forward the video yet today I'm gonna be filming a chit chat get ready with me video slash Q&A and I say Q&A is because I generally get to answer as many questions as I wanted to so I might be doing that as a separate video so if you guys are interested to see how I did my makeup today and what products I use to get this really soft glam I don't know what to call it look <laughs> I don't know what to call like makeup looks like you know what I mean like it's just so different from here anyways if you're interested to hang out with me for the next hour then just go ahead and keep on watching the video <laughs> Bye. Right, so let's go ahead and get started Ugh, let me get comfortable hold on you guys okay so let's go ahead and get started I have nothing on my face I had moisturized my face earlier so let me start off with fixing these choppy lips because your girl's lips are always dry I don't understand why I'm going in with the Laneige sleeping mask I love this sleeping mask it works so well on my lips let me brush these eyebrows a little bit Milo I'm in favor stop it Milo so for today I am going for a more matter look that's typically what I like to do I like my face to be matte I'm not a fan of the dewy look just for my skin personally I don't know I just always I just always like my skin to be super matte so the trick to making your skin not look extra dry when you're wearing matte makeup is to go in with a ton of moisturizers and serums and stuff so that your skin is dewy underneath but when you apply all the powders and the matte foundations you'll be good to go so I'm gonna go in with the Clinique moisture surge serum I'm just going to apply this all over my face this is so weird you guys because I don't think I've ever done my makeup on camera while I'm talking to you guys at the same time it's a little overwhelming because I'm like oh my god I get to see me like my natural state looking all sleepy and looking all tired but this is me <laughs> I am going to be following up with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I've actually really been enjoying this cream because it actually feels super soft and luxurious and my skin just feels so nice and hydrated after I put this on my skin. Now I do have combination skin, like sometimes my skin can be very dry and then sometimes my T-zone gets really oily so I, I try to get products that kind of hydrate my skin but that are not like too oily for the T-zone. I don't know you guys, I'm not like a skin expert, I just get whatever, whatever feels good and whatever works, that's kind of what I use and I just listen to people's recommendation I'm like oh that works okay good. I always like to go with that eye cream because as you guys can tell I do have naturally dark under eyes like this used to stress me out for so long when I was like in my younger 20s now I'm like mid 20s now I'm 25 so now I actually think I'm grown I'm like I'm an adult I'm in my mid 20s now <laughs> but anyways in my younger 20s it used to stress me out that I had such dark circles and believe it or not that's how I got into makeup I was like I need to hide these dark circles people would always ask me are you tired are you sleepy you have dark circles and I'm just like that's just the way I was born like I can't hide it that's just how I don't know like I literally couldn't hide my dark circles so that was one of my biggest insecurities I also used to get like acne not really crazy but like spotty and then I would get a lot of hyperpigmentation so I was like I'm never filming makeup videos or skincare videos I'm never doing that because my skin is so bad and honestly my skin is not perfect now but I'm more comfortable and accepting of my skin and I'm just like whatever like nobody's perfect not everybody has beautiful flawless gorgeous skin so this is what we got and this is what we're working with all that being said I always like to go in with an eye cream honestly I really haven't found the under eye cream that brightens up my under eyes dramatically I think it's just something I'll have to live with I am using the Shiseido white lucinda anti-dark circle eye cream I don't really use this to brighten up my under eyes but I use it because it's really hydrating and, and it just lets my foundation, not my foundation, just lets my concealer get on really nicely. I don't really crease because I do like to bake my under eyes. So when I'm baking it, it doesn't really crease as much because it's really hydrated. So I pretty much just put this all over my eye and that's that. <laughs> Alright, so skin is pretty much prepped. I'm not really going to, actually I should put some SPF because I am actually going out today. So I know SPF is super important and you're supposed to put it on every single day. 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm not 100% religious with my SPS SPF like if I see it I'm just like hey I'll just put it on but I'm not like oh my god I need to put this every day even though I should but I'm just not I've been using the Dermalogica pure light SPF 50 I was gonna show you guys every single product but we're gonna be here all day so I'm not gonna do that I'll just like hold it up here and I'll link everything in the description box I'll put that so you guys can just see what I use but this has SPF 50 so we're going to just put that on our face so that we are protected from the sun. Okay. So I went on Instagram and I asked you guys to ask me questions that you guys would like me to answer in this little get ready with me while I do my makeup. I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea because I have like an hour to get ready. And if I'm talking, it took me like 20 minutes to just put my skincare because I was talking to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera because that takes forever to do. And if I start talking to you guys... You best believe we're not gonna finish today I'll just show you guys what I typically use for my eyebrows I've been doing more Instagram videos like more makeup videos on Instagram and I've been like excuse me Milo sometimes I cut off the eyebrow part because it's literally the same every single time I always use the Urban Decay brow blade this is my favorite product ever for my eyebrows so I use this shade use dark drapes that's the shade that I use and I do my eyebrows with that or sometimes I would use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade for my eyebrows as well if I wanted to look super sharp and like crisp and like extra. Okay, so I used the combination of all the products that I mentioned to you guys. So I'm going to be using the Essence Lash and Brow Brow Gel. This thing is so old. I actually need a good brow gel, you guys. So if you have any recommendations, send them my way. I used to use hairspray because that also worked. Um, but... So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette to do my makeup today. I'm not going for a crazy look. I'm just going to be running some errands today, so I want to look a little presentable. I'm going to do minor shadow, hopefully, if I don't get carried away. And just use some stick within the warm tone colors. So I'm probably going to be within the first two rows of the palette. I honestly really have no idea what look I'm going for or anything like that. I'm just going to be answering your guys' question and doing my makeup. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. Let's go to Instagram and see what you guys are curious to find out. Wow, we actually got a ton of questions, you guys. So, okay, so this first question says, were you ever discouraged in your transitioning journey? That's a good question. Transitioning meaning my natural hair journey and i honestly was never discouraged i you know it's so funny because it's been such a long time if you guys don't know i have been natural for four years now and this year marks the five year mark so it's definitely been a while but sometimes i literally forget that i used to wear my hair straight just because having curly hair now just comes so natural to me i mean it's been four years already so that's pretty much all i know but i do you know i know the struggles Back in the day, it was a struggle for me, but I found the joy in products. I used to buy so many different curly hair products, and that's how I kind of like had fun with transitioning. I would try out a bunch of different products to see what would work for my hair, and that's how I became low-key a product junkie because literally every time I would get paid, I was working at the bank at the time, every time I would get paid, I would go spend money on hair products sometimes my hair wouldn't come out the way I wanted it to because it had mixed textures on it so sometimes I would just do hairstyles and that's kind of how like my page transitioned from documenting my journey to now showcasing different hairstyles because I was trying to figure out ways to rock my curls and not straighten my hair but I wasn't always having a good hair day so of course you know the times that I've been discouraged I always you know knew that at the end my curls were going to be nice and healthy if I stuck to my routine and deep condition which I still do on a weekly basis okay so this next question has nothing to do with hair it's actually marriage life related so this next question says what were you most nervous about when you moved when your man moved in so for those of you who don't know I am now married I'm a whole wife and I'm very happy you guys it's been about it's been 11 days has it been 11 days and um let me just talk let's let's talk about that shall we coming closer so let me tell you something i have always been the type of person that wanted to wait until marriage to do everything that comes with having a husband right so that means moving in and other stuff so 
other stuff. <laughs> so I literally like this last few weeks, well this last two weeks have been such a change for me because there's a lot of like change, changes happening, right? I have a whole, a whole person, like a whole man now in my personal space because I lived here for a year. Now that it's Mark, now that it's Mark, now that it's March, it, mar it marks a year that I've lived here and I made myself at home because this is my home. Like I made myself comfortable. I spread out my stuff everywhere. So I have a filming room. I have an office room. I have the upstairs, which is now like a master bedroom. And I had one empty room, which I had already known from the beginning was going to be his room. So I've made myself really comfortable and you know, like the hardest part of having someone live with you is that you kind of have to adjust your schedule so that you can kind of be, so you guys can kind of spend time together at the same time. So for those of you who don't know YouTube and like Instagram and like influencing life is my full time job. So I've been working from home for about a year, for two years now. Wow, that is insane. 2018. Ending of 2017 is when I quit my job from working at the bank. So I have been working from home since 2018, which is insane. It's already been two years. Crazy. But with that being said, you have the freedom to kind of just work and do things at your own pace whenever you want. And just like, that's been my life. Like sometimes I would stay up until 6 in the morning to film a video. And then I would sleep until 12 o'clock just because that's just what I wanted to do right I didn't have to think about anyone else's time you know and that has been the biggest adjustment for me because now I'm like I have to be more intentional of when I'm working because I want to make sure that I'm present like when he's here I want to make sure that I'm present and that I'm not filming in my room because I'm used to doing that I'm used to like literally coming in here you guys and filming for like six seven hours straight just like videos back to back and that's and I do it because I can, because I live by myself, I can work at my own pace, do whatever I want at my own pace, but now having someone else here, I definitely have to be more cautious at what time I'm working, so now I have to like actually wake up early and get filming done. Like right now, you guys, it's 3 o'clock. I can't remember the last time I filmed a video at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, because my husband comes out of work, so it's like, I want to make sure that I've done all of my work for the day while he's at work so when he's here we can actually like spend time together so i know i kind of went on a tangent there but it's been different living with him i love waking up next to him i love like sleeping next to him i love cuddling with him because those are things we didn't do while we were dating and we've been dating for seven years like we legit were together for seven years this year we make seven years so it's been a while but we you know we wanted to do things the old school way so you know now this is all these changes it's like it's good, but then it's also like just changes, just adapting and like doing things differently. But it's been great. He's not a bother, thankfully. Like the house is majority very girly <laughs> and he doesn't complain about it. So it's been great. Like it's been great. So actually a lot of you guys have been asking, like a lot of you guys mentioned kids and I'm like, homegirl, we just got married. We are not planning on having kids anytime soon. I mean, if God wants us to have a kid, and there's a oopsie then there's a oopsie but intentionally planning we're not planning to have kids for a while not anytime soon if it was up to us which it is but you know what i mean <laughs> so this question says do you both want to have kids if so how many by the way congrats on your marriage you look beautiful thank you so much so yeah we actually do both want to have kids thankfully because if you didn't want to have kids como que, that would have been a problem but um, yeah, we both do want to have kids. I don't really have a number. I know I just don't want to have one kid because I feel like Vito, he needs like siblings and his kids need to have like aunts and uncles. So I don't want to have just one kid, whether that's two, whether that's three. I don't know if I'll have four kids. It's kind of pushing it. I want to be able to have like a good relationship with each of my kids and not just pop out kids for another number. So yeah, but we do want to have kids. So I actually did get a lot of nail questions, which I'm happy because I really do love talking about nails. Like I love 
doing my own nails i do them at home i started learning how to do tips so that's been like my new thing i've been like playing around with different shapes different sizes so that's kind of like been like my new thing what do you use to do your nails at home with kind what kind of uv lamp since i do my own nails i literally play around with pretty much everything so i've done poly gel i've done dip powder i've done gel nails i've done regular manicures which i don't do anymore because it doesn't last i just do it on my toes what i use typically now for like the last year and a half i have been using rebel nail that is the dip powder company that i use i actually have it on my nails right now i love this like purpley color it's actually called enchanted and i love the way it looks on my nails and it's just a really nice feminine welcoming spring color but i pretty much just use dip powder that is really what I do and then I've been mixing dip powder with a gel top coat just because a gel top coat is more shinier than Revel Nail. So I do use gel and I use a lamp that I found on Amazon. I can link it here if you guys are interested in seeing which one I use. But um, I just got it on Amazon and it works really well and I've had it for about... I've had it for a while. I've had it for like a year and changed by now. So I'm not trying to go too crazy with eyeshadow. Because sometimes I do get carried away. Just put this all over my eyelid. Okay, so I went really subtle with the eyes. I think I'm going to keep it like that for now. Unless I like decide to change my mind after I like do my face. But I'm going to go ahead and start off my face. I'm going to be using the Tarte Poreless Primer. I love this primer. I've been also featuring it in all of my videos lately. Because it's a mattifying poreless primer. So it mattifies my face, but it also helps blur out my pores, and I really like that because I do kind of have, like if you're all up in my face, you can see the co the pores. So I do like to use this because it just helps eliminate that. Alright, primer is on. I'm going to be testing out new shades from the Huda Beauty Foundation. I actually have a love-hate relationship with the Huda Beauty Foundation because they have really nice coverage, they're really nice and thick, but they lean towards the orange side so i got two shades here i have the shade amaretti and then i also have the shade gingerbread so i'm gonna mix them and just hope that it works for my skin tone because sometimes it looks too orange so somebody asked me are you happy how long do you plan on living in your own place do you plan on getting a house so that is a very sweet question i am happy thankfully thank you for asking because i am pretty happy i'm happy with how life is going i mean life has ups and downs and just moments where you're just like what is life right now but um yeah i am pretty happy with how things are going and yes we are planning on living here for some time until we are able to situate ourselves in terms of like buying a house i think that's like the end goal for a lot of people is to buy a house milo stop Milo I mean we're open and just you know trying to be good stewards with our money and just hoping that you know whatever plan God has for us he has for us but I, that is definitely the end goal I think everyone wants to have their own space their own land and be able to be homeowners so absolutely but I am happy with where I live I think it's a really great area and it's close to my family and it's not far from the city so I look so funny. <laughs> okay, so foundation is on and it kind of looks orange to me still, even though I mix two colors. Ooh, that is very annoying, but whatever. Let's try to fix this and let's try to make it work. So for concealer, I have been loving the ELF 16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer. It's just been my go-to lately. I love how much it brightens the eye. I do go pretty light with my concealer, you guys, and that's just because I really like a bright under eye. I'm using the color medium sand, which kind of is light for my, it looks pretty white, but that's just, I don't know, that's just always been my preference, a lighter concealer, like a super lighter concealer, because I like it to really brighten up my under eyes and just like my T-zone, so I go in with medium sand, but it blends out nicely and I like how it looks. So I actually did get this question a lot and it's how is your hair always so moisturized and it's so funny because a lot of people literally always ask me that and I feel like I sound like a broken record because honestly you guys the answer is always the same and the reason why my curls are always so hydrated is because I literally deep condition twice a week at max once if I don't have the time to during the week but I always deep condition my hair 
twice a week and like when I'm home and I want to like super pamper myself I do leave my deep conditioner on for about half an hour to an hour like I'll just do things around the house while I have the deep conditioner in my hair but for the most part if I'm in the shower I will try to deep condition my hair for at least 20 minutes under steam in a plastic bag but honestly that is the trick to having healthy shiny hair deep condition at least once a week for half an hour or that's pretty much what I do you guys I'm always deep conditioning my hair I know it sounds cliche and people are just like okay anything else but that's really what I do but I'm also very intentional with the way I apply my hair products so that has a lot to do with my results and the way things look but deep conditioning is the answer and I'm always going to be saying it sounding like a broken record but I promise you that makes the biggest different next question is can you post a nail tutorials like you do with hair so I actually have posted a nail tutorial I posted a nail tutorial on my Instagram and on my YouTube before sorry guys I cannot apply powder and talk at the same time let me just put this this is the Laura, Laura Mercier translucent powder by the way I just kind of like to seal this in the areas where I know I'm going to get oily it's so funny because I don't know when my fiance is coming my husband. Milo knows when my husband's coming over because he kind of like already knows the sound of the car. So he does this every time he's coming. So now I know that he's literally coming. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. No me voy a dejar hablar, Milo. Milo, déjame hablar. Milo. And we're matching, you guys. Look. I have gray sweats too. Go <laughs> say hi. Oh, I have foundation lips. <laughs> Oh, you gotta get Milo. He is the whole family. <laughs> Say hello, Milo. The game, but he doesn't know how to act every time he gets here. Anyways, so now we're gonna be moving on to bronzer. Sometimes I do cream contour, sometimes I don't. But for bronzers, I literally always use the same two. I use the Kylie Cosmetics one, and then I also use the Fenty Beauty one. These two are my favorites. I like that they're not red, but they're not ashy. They're like right in the middle. So I always like to mix both of them up. All right, let's go on with another question. This one is a nail question. It says, how do you remove your dip powder manicure without damaging your nails? So what I typically do is I'll soak them in acetone. And I feel like naturally acetone is just very weakening for the nail. So regardless, like... My nails are not as strong as I would like them to be because I do do my nails sometimes even twice a week, which I need to stop doing because my poor nails, they're just like so mad at me. But I typically just soak them in acetone and that's how I take off the dip powder nail. Since I didn't go too crazy on the eyes, I do want my face to look nice and like snatched and flawless. So I'm going to be going in with a Derma Blend Professional Illuminating banana powder and i'm just gonna be doing the most by baking my jawline i don't always do this but for the video i guess we might as well just be extra okay so we'll leave this here this is how i've seen people do it leave it here we're gonna bake really quickly while i do my blush also don't really know how to nose contour you guys so if you have any tips let me know because i don't really know how to do it i feel like i just gave myself a whole new nose i don't know how i feel about that I'm catfishing myself. I literally never do this, but we're trying it today. Moving on to blush. I have been using this forever. This is the Milani Baked Powder Brush. The lid broke, so we're just going to go right in there. Sometimes I even put some on my chin. So I'm actually not sure how long you're supposed to let this bake for, but we're going to go ahead and just move on to highlight for the brows. I use a light concealer so that I already have a natural highlight in case like I forget to put highlight. But I always, always, always use the, the Anastasia Glow Kit. Ooh, I dropped my whole thing. I always use the Anastasia Glow Kit just because this shade right here is my favorite. This shade is called Summer. And this is the one that I'm always using and I just love how it makes my brow bone pop so I'm gonna put that and let's go answer another question while I do that how do you sleep with your hair I actually have a video on this on my Instagram and on my YouTube I pretty much put my hair into two pineapples one on top one on the bottom and then I put like two or three bonnets on depending on how many I have at hand and that's pretty much how I sleep with my hair. It's not attractive, it's not cute, but it works. 
and that's literally what I've been doing for like the last two years like it's just been helping me I can get a week long worth of wash and goes which I really don't let my hair go that far but if I wanted to I totally can with that method it actually works this highlight looks really nice I'll just go back in with the fluffy brush to just blend that in so it doesn't look so harsh Bam. okay so moving on to highlight I got some new Morphe products, so I'm going to be using this one right here. This is a Morphe highlighting palette. don't know what shades I'm going to use. Probably mixed these two right here because I don't want to be too, too blingy, but then I also want to be blingy, you know what I mean? So, like, let's mix those two up and see what it does. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm going to put some up here. So this next question is, were you nervous wearing your curls on your wedding day? Absolutely not. I had all intention to always wear my hair curly. So going natural for me has always been one of those I'm never looking back type of thing. So uh, ever since I went natural, I haven't had any desire to literally straighten my hair. Like I haven't had any desire. I feel like I've worked so hard to get my curls to where they are today, nice and healthy. There's no point in straightening my hair. I don't feel like I'll enjoy having straight hair as much as I used to back in the day because curly hair is just so versatile. If I want to elongate my curls, all I got to do is do a nice roller set and I'll have a different look. But for the most part, I didn't have any intentions on wearing my hair straight or wavy or anything like that on my wedding day because I wanted to be my true authentic self and that's me in my curls. So I wanted to make a statement and for myself and for other curly girls who probably want to wear their hair curly but doubted wearing their hair curly. It was just a special moment for me and I wanted my curls to be a part of it. Like why not? You know, right, so mascara is done. I am going to be sharing with you guys my latest favorites lip combo at the moment. I've been loving the warm tone nude lip. So I finally found a combo that I actually really like and I'm gonna share it with you guys. I always change my lip liner color. This one right now is from ColourPop and it's the color BFF3. So I'm going to go ahead and just line my lips with that really quick. I don't overdraw my lips. I just follow the actual line of my lips. After I put my lip liner, I go in with the Morphe Boo lipstick. This is the matte lipstick and it looks like this. It's a really, really pretty shade. So I just put this right on top. Then I top this off with the Milani lip gloss, which I just discovered a couple days ago and I actually really like how it looks. This one is in the shade 120 and it's called She's All That. So I'm going to put this all over my lip. I feel like this gloss just helps tighten everything together and makes it look like it's just one lipstick which I absolutely love. My all-time favorite setting spray is from Urban Decay and it's the All Nighter Spray. This stuff will hold you down if you're going out for a long night or just a long day. And just kind of spray this. Generously, on my face. And then I got the little fan. Hold on, let me get the little fan. I feel like you're not a YouTuber if you don't have a fan. So I got a fan. <laughs> and this is the final look. I'm looking at the screen. I don't think, like in person, it doesn't look too orange. My foundation with my chest. I don't know if it looks like that in, in the screen. I have to like check when I'm editing. But overall, this is today's look. It's a very soft, full coverage glam. And I like it. What do you guys think? Let me know if you guys like these type of videos. You guys had sent me so many questions. I literally didn't even get to get through all of them because I was actually talking and like showing you guys what I was doing. But if you guys want me to do like a sit down chit chat Q&A video, which I might do with the rest of these questions, I might like do that as a separate video. Let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and just chatting up and talking about random stuff you can also just leave me any makeup product recommendations as much as i love hair products i have really started to get into makeup and it's been fun just playing around with different palettes different foundations different colors so let me know some of your staple makeup products in the comments down below so i can go ahead and try it and thank you guys so much for watching my video if you guys are 
not follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Charlie's Curls. So make sure you're following me on there so we can stay connected and be curl friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.